Today I made a really cool text animation which is basically made out of waves in 3D and I'm gonna show you how to do these. Step one, let's select the type tool, click. I can type in the letter P from Panther and I'm gonna scale it up, press the letter S and scale it up here. Now I'm gonna collapse it. Now we're gonna activate the 3D settings. As you can see, we got the little cube here and make, to, make sure to check it. Also make sure that here at the render you're on Cinema 4D, click on here. You might have it on a classic 3D, but switch it to Cinema 4D and click OK. Now we're gonna open up the layer options. And as you can see, we got X, Y, and Z option. And what we're gonna do is go to the X rotation, type in minus 60, and we're gonna go to the Z rotation, type in minus 30. Great. I can also reposition it somewhere here. I gotta go to the geometrical options and I'm gonna increase the extrusion depth a little bit. And I'm gonna go to the animation, go to the front and we're gonna color it. Go to the color RGB and you're gonna switch up the color up the top. And you can also switch up here the color like that. You also can change the extrusion color. You can go to animation, side, color, RGB. Here you have it, click OK. All right, now we're gonna animate this. I gotta collapse it, I gotta press Ctrl D to duplicate and I gotta lock the P and I gotta work with the P2. Open up, let me see, we're gonna go to the geometrical option and the transform and I gotta bring this back to the beginning and I'm gonna need the position, I'm gonna activate the stopwatch on the position and I'm gonna activate the stopwatch on the extrusion depth and I'm gonna press the letter U so it's gonna highlight only the keyframes that I'm working with. Now I'm gonna go to the first second and as you can see we got here this arrow which is the Z axis and I'm gonna pull this up somewhere here. And now I'm gonna go to the extrusion depth and I'm gonna increase it. And as you can see it's gonna create the extrusion. I'm gonna go all the way down where the locked letter P ends. I'm gonna delete the locked letter P. I'm gonna unlock it, select the letter P and delete. And now we're remaining with this uh, animated version. I'm gonna select these first two keyframes, press Ctrl C and go to the second second, press Ctrl V. So it's gonna go back. So basically it's gonna look some like this. I'm gonna select them all, right click, go to keyframe assist and select easy ease to make the animation more smoother. So we got the first letter P, now I'm gonna select the P, I'm gonna collapse it, press Ctrl D to duplicate, and I'm gonna lock the original letter P, I'm gonna work with the P3, I'm gonna select the type tool, double click, and this way you can rename it. I'm gonna type in letter A. What we're gonna do is go to the letter A, press the letter U, so it's gonna highlight the keyframes. Now click on the position here, and we're gonna go with the X axis here, see that? And I'm gonna pull it, Great, I'm gonna press Ctrl D to duplicate. I'm gonna collapse the letter A, lock it, and I'm gonna select the type tool again, double click, type in the letter N, and you're gonna do so on and so forth. Press the letter U, select the position, zoom in and grab the X axis. Good, so it looks something like this. I'm gonna unlock all of them. And as you can see, it's animating all of them simultaneously. So we're gonna switch that, I'm gonna select them all, press the letter U to highlight all the keyframes. And now we're gonna delay these. So we got the letter P, this is gonna be the first, now I'm gonna go to the letter A, I'm gonna select all the keyframes, I'm gonna go to the tenth frame, and I'm gonna drag all the keyframes, I'm gonna go to the 20th keyframes, I'm gonna go to the letter N, and select the keyframes and push them out first, second, letter T, and so on and so forth. I'm also gonna drag the work area end and pull it all the way to the ending. So let's see what we got. Wow, check that out, looks flawless. And this is how you animate the extrusion in After Effects. Thanks for watching.